Hello, I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak and this is ProstateVideos.com. There's been a growing controversy about the results associated with minimally invasive and robotic surgery. There's extensive marketing going on around the United States that are highlighting the results and advocating the procedure as being better for patients with fewer complications and more rapid recovery. What is the truth? Well, there have been a number of studies making comparisons, although no good prospect of randomized trials that have made an attempt to draw comparisons. But from the best evidence possible, and from a summary from a variety of locations and medical groups around the world, the bottom line is that it's not the technique, it's the surgeon. You want someone who is experienced but you don't need to have it done by a robotic method. Now, having said that, robotic surgery does have a slightly shorter hospital stay of one day on average, and there may be a little bit less blood loss and a slightly lower risk of transfusions. But in the long-term outcomes, there does not to be a, appear to be a significant difference. There's no evidence that you get better continence or you get better, get, get better sexual function you may have a lower incidence of urethral strictures. So what you need to do as a patient is be prepared to ask your surgeon, if you choose surgery, about their experience. Studies have shown that regardless of the technique, the number of procedures performed has a direct impact on the success or complication rates. More than half of the surgeons surveyed in a recent report had done fewer than five of them per year. Most doctors are not likely to tell you how many they do. So be sure to ask them how many they do per year, how many they've done in the last five years. You also want to know about their complication results. There are validated surveys and questionnaires that can help accumulate information about a doctor's results. Many doctors don't have that information. So when you ask about complication rates, find out whether the complication rates you're being quoted are from national statistics, from famous surgeons that do high volume, or from the particular doctor who you are about to have do your operation. There's nothing wrong with getting more than one opinion and talking to more than one surgeon and finding out how good their results are and how many they are doing. Because in the end, we really want all the same thing. We want good quality results, and that is partly dependent on the number of procedures being performed. It looks important that you have a surgeon who does more than 15 or 20, and maybe even more than 30 of the minimally invasive procedures. That's required in order to get up to speed and maintain quality results that are similar to larger volume surgeons. So hopefully this information will be helpful to you as you move forward having made your decision to proceed with a radical prostatectomy. Thank you.